Hello Year 7, welcome back to your music lessons. This is lesson 6 and this lesson will be on instrumentation and terminology. Now if you're looking for any previous lessons, the videos, they can be found on YouTube. I've put a link to a playlist in the top box there. Uh, this playlist will lead you to all of my videos on these lessons. Uh, that's lesson, that's, uh, that's videos 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. And also this lesson, lesson 6. Please make sure you go over these lessons and any previous lessons because they will help you in understanding and completing uh, this lesson and lessons in the future. Lesson objective. For today's lesson, we are going to understand the term instrumentation and apply the terminology that you have learnt to analysing a song. So in the red box on the right, at the very least today, you should be able to identify the instrumentation of a song. So you're able to understand what the word instrumentation is and use that to identify the, ter the instrumentation of a song. Once you're able to do that in the yellow box in the middle, you are able to use the terminology that you have learnt when describing a song. So the terminology you've learnt is the, thing, is the terms that we've been looking over uh, in the past weeks. Things like dynamics, pitch, melody, all these different things we've been looking over in the past few weeks. And you're able to apply that to describing a song. Once you're able to do that in the green box on the right, you are able to analyse the emotional message of a song using terminology to strengthen your argument. So you've started to look at and describe about what the terminology, how the terminology is used in a song, and then now you're starting to think critically about what emotional effect, what emotional message this has. So for task one, we are looking into instrumentation. Now instrumentation is just a word we use for the, describing the instruments that are being used in a song. So if you're listening to a song uh, and you hear a piano in it and you get and you identify, OK, there's a piano being used in the song. You are identifying the instrumentation of the song. So for task one, I'd like you to watch the video Snarky Puppy. What about me? We like it here on YouTube. I've put a uh, link to the YouTube video uh, in the yellow box on the right. Once you have while you're watching the video, sorry, I would like to write down the six different instruments that are playing during the performance. So that's the six instruments that are playing during the performance. Now, a quick hint, some of the instruments in the video are not playing. That means that they are not part of the instrumentation of the song because there can be instruments there, but if they're not playing, they're not part of the song. And that means there's, they're not part of the instrumentation of the song. So we're looking at the six instruments that are playing. There can be, there are more than six instruments that can be seen, but we're looking at the ones that are playing. We're looking at the instrumentation of What About Me, not just what instruments can be seen. So that's task one. And then for task two, this is based on applying terminology to a song. So this is the terminology that you have learned in previous lessons. Dynamics, instrumentation, texture, timbre and melody. For task two, I would like you to listen to Deep End by Holly Humberstone. Then once you've listened to it, I'd like to fill in the table below using your understanding of the terminology to complete the columns. Please, please as well, use grammatically correct sentences when filling out the table. No one word answers. I filled out uh, dynamics for you, the first column. Um, so you can use that as a sort of basis to fill out the other ones. I've put a link to the uh, video, the YouTube video of Deep End in the yellow box on the right. So the things with the terminology we're looking into, as said before, is dynamics, instrumentation, texture, timbre and melody. So for each one, each of those terminologies on the table, I would like you to write how the terminology is applied to Deep End. So, for example, for the first one, dynamics, loud or quiet, I've written the dynamics are quiet. So that's how the terminology has been applied to deep end. I'd like you to do that for instrumentation, texture, timbre and melody. And then finally, if you're able to do that, you find that easy, stretch and challenge. 
uh, I would like to think what emotional effect does the terminology have on the song. I'd like to write your answer down. Please use correct sentences, sentences, and uh, please don't use words like boring. We're looking for the emotion of the song, not how you feel about it. Good. Uh, just quick reminder, your Gembe research project should be finished and uploaded. Uh, any criteria and examples can be found on the homework under research project, but it should be uploaded by now. So please make sure that it's definitely, definitely up there. Thank you very much for listening. Hope you're all well.